Bonjour everyone, Bentov here today for a new video in which we're going to take a look at those two tanks because you may or may not know this, but Wargaming is cooking an event in which you're going to be able to get both for free. The M41D, a tier 7 Chinese light tank, and the WZ-112-2, the tier 8 Chinese heavy tank. Both of those are Chinese because I assume they are made for the new Chinese event. And obviously they have been in the game for a very long time, not necessarily new tanks or anything like that, but still quite good tanks for you to get for free. So let's not lose too much time and see what they have in their stomach. Casually starting with the least interesting one, which is the M41D. It's basically a bulldog made premium. What I just love about it is it's DPM that sits at 2.8k which is probably going to be one of the most useful things on this tank when you're top tier and also it's top speed 70 km per hour is just huge for the rest no armor at all and a good gun depression if I'm not mistaken because you have 8 degrees which is not as good as the regular bulldog but still will do the job this tank is kind of special in my heart not because I played that much not because it has an original playstyle but simply because it's the kind of tank that can be situationally chaotic or situationally pretty good. What I mean by that is that it's kind of an annoying mosquito. If nobody cares about you and don't bother shooting at you, you will be able to do plenty of damage. But if you are the main target of your enemies, well, you're not gonna last long, which implies that you have to play sneaky with that thing. For example, here I'm waiting for the T-34 to to go right in before going in it myself every 3.8 seconds which is my total reload 3.6 seconds sorry on top of that when you're using adrenaline you are passing the mighty gap of 3k dpm and trust me it's going to be a huge deal for your opponents if they are not taking care of you basically the cool thing about it beside its impressive gun is probably that well you have that amazing mobility allowing you to relocate for example here the ice 3 he doesn't care about me so i'm just gonna snap my shots again and again and again with some adrenaline because when you use adrenaline with this well you stand at three seconds of reload and this will definitely do the job unfortunately it didn't last long as i was attacked by the amx m4 but well not a problem guys we are just gonna use the 70 kilometers per hour this tank has to offer and we're gonna circle we're gonna go on the t32 maybe on the ice 2 as well helping the lover before having to deal with the rest because that tank is pretty good at killing lonely people because when you see a heavy for example here and you see that i'm shooting at the tracks only you want to immobilize your targets but as soon as you do this you will be able to circle and there is nothing they can do especially if they are in open spaces and this is what we are going to demonstrate on the IS-2 that is already going to get crushed by the lover but most importantly we are going to take those damage. On top of that, the amazing, great, amazing, whatever, uh, whatever adjective you want to use. But, well, you reload so fast that you see that this AMX didn't even have the time to unleash his whole clip. Only one shot and bang, he was out of this world. Now, now we're having fun once again on the T32. Trying to get the tracks, unfortunately, doesn't work all the time. So, well, I'm going to try the last one. It didn't work. Not a problem. We are rushing to a safe cover. Come on, come on, come on. Unfortunately, I was not looking at where I was going. But still, I made it, boys. Now, I'm going to try jumping on this uh, ridge line. But unfortunately, the guy at the top died pretty soon. Victory, all enemy tanks are destroyed, and on top of that, not only did we do more than 3k damage, we also got ourselves a nice amount of credits, because that tank is doing a lot of credits. As you can see here, for 3k damage, which is, I want to sum it up to you, the regular DPM of the tank, minus maybe 150 damage, you do 100,000 credits. So it's a great credit earner once you know how to play because usually light tanks are not made for new players so do not go for that tank if you are a newbie leave it to pro or at least experienced players or people that played a lot of light tanks in their world of tank blitz career now let's take a look at the mighty reward the one that is probably going to interest most of you it has a name wz 1122 and it's packing some serious armor 
It looks like an IS-3, it's based on an IS-3, but it's stronger than an IS-3. The only problem I have seen with this tank is probably the lack of penetration with its regular shell. Only 215 is quite poor when we take a look at the new premiums so sitting at 245 millimeters probably approximately, uh, especially, for example, the Objective 5 to you or these kind of tanks. But beside that, the armor on that tank is just great. As soon as you use this plate, you try to angle it a little bit and you show only your turret, it's literally impossible to penetrate you. Of course, you have those really small cupolas, but they are so small that it's kind of hard for your opponents to shoot through. For the rest, you have some spaced armor here and here, allowing you to uh, side scrape graciously, and it's probably one of the greatest newbie-friendly tanks you can get. And I know it's old, but even if it's old, it's still relevant. It's not necessarily something that got replaced by the object 252U or whatever. No, this thing is packing some serious armor, a top gun, and well, it would be a shame for you not to use it. 11.9 seconds of reload, 2k DPM, which is kind of poor, but do not worry, as soon as you put it in the right place, you are a literal bunker. And to help you with this, well, even if you don't have the best engine sitting at 42 km per hour, you will still feel comfortable enough to take advanced and aggressive positions along your way. Let's see how it goes in battle. What made me fall in love with this tank is probably how easy it was to use. Like literally, it's your regular heavy. There is nothing that changes about the playstyle. You are not going to be confused if you are playing, for example, a nice three and you rush on that tank. It's just a better version of already existing heavy tanks at tier eight. And it's following the line of the new heavies Wargaming is currently implementing. You know, the meta heavies that have the strongest armor ever, not necessarily the best gun, but still the strongest armor. And you're going to showcase that pretty soon. First of all, my mobility allowed me to take an advanced position from which I'm able to snipe that stand B that is not necessarily looking the right way. I have 500 alpha damage with my HE and I think that my only mistake in this game is probably only packing two HE. So, well, I'm not going to use it again. I'm just going to wait for the stand B to do something a little bit dumb. But as he's kind of locked, I think he knows he can't escape. I'm just going to try to sneak all my shells into it. Of course, when you have a Russian gun because yes it's a Chinese tank but based on the Russian you need to fully aim before shooting because otherwise your shots are gonna talk to the moon the sun Neptune Uranus but definitely not your enemies and it can be quite frustrating especially look at this shot for example yes I shot the standard B but I just moved my cursor like one or two millimeters on the side before shooting and all of a sudden my all aim circle started to stretch and I completely failed of course, sometimes you get help from the RNG because unlike World of Tank PC here, the RNG is more of a blessing than a curse. And now things are going to be interesting. Why? Because finally I take an all down position, which is the kind of things that you want to do with this tank. Of course, you can go into side scrape, but it's preferable for you to stay in all down. So traditionally, like it's the case with all the heavy tanks, you only show your turret and you are good to go. But yeah, here I was a little bit greedy. I wanted to get my shot on the Panther and now I'm escaping battlefield. You wait for the whole reload, securing kills again and again and again, and you're just good to go. Just take a look at that. For example, I'm trying to get the SU. I can't because of course your main problem is the lack of gun depression. I think that with this tank you have around six degrees. And well, if you know how to use the terrain to your advantage, you should not struggle at all getting those shots right through. But here we had the advantage over our opponents because we were we had the higher field. Now things are going to be a little bit different because when you're facing them directly, you need to think of ways for you of course, as it's the case with every single tank, to shoot while either not taking the shot or getting some bounces. Sorry about that. How do I remove it? Okay, I don't know how we do it. Okay, I found we can go back to our replay. So I was saying you need to find a way to bounce things. And this is where side scrape 
comes into my mind. Because usually, if you have the higher ground or you can only show your turret, you go into all down. But if it's impossible for you, yeah, just straight up try to side scrape like I'm doing here with the scepter. But that guy doesn't seem to be nothing else but a bot, unfortunately for the enemy team, because it would have been a great help for them to get a regular player instead of someone that seems to have the same connection as if he was playing from the moon. But still, let's go. We sneak three shells in. The scepter still is not shooting. I don't know why. Maybe because his connection suck. And well, now we have two things that we can do. The first is... Sorry, I taped my mouse. But basically, you can face hug the enemies usually it's your you have a strong armor a strong enough armor for you to bounce everything but if it isn't possible or if you are greedy for damage like my case uh, here and the enemy is not moving just go into the back use your best he shell and boom snap him for five hundred alpha damage now there is only one guy remaining the 50 tp and things shouldn't be too much of a struggle he goes in i'm going for a heat shell because after all regardless of how many shots i still get it will tell, take me two to get the guy so it's better to assure myself that i will be able to penetrate and here you see that well we did what we had to do we got the bounces we got the damage and necessarily when you do 5.3k damage and you get the victory with all enemy tank destroyed get yourself an ace tanker with it obviously comes a lot of credits but beside the ace tanker badge that gives you a huge boost in terms of credits this thing is doing a lot of credits you will not struggle usually when you do 2k damage you will get around 60,000 if you are using a premium account and if you do 3k you can climb up to maybe 80,000 90,000 if you're good if you have four kills etc so in the end both of those tanks are completely worth it because they are free but also worth it because they are good maybe the wz112 2 a little bit more than the m41d but I guess that for the event to come this thing will be harder to get than the m41d but if you have the possibility of getting both then go ahead and take them and now for the event itself i don't know when it starts but yeah you should pretty much log every single day not necessarily to play but at least take a look at when the event starts because it's a great way for you to get yourself some free premiums that are not only free but also very good so hopefully if you enjoyed and learned something feel free to subscribe like and share and personally i'm going to see you soon for a new video bye